most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. You know, you see the injury, it's a freak injury. This is John Tanaga, fifth pro boxing fans, joined by Eddie Hearn at the Wayne for Ben against Dobson. Uh, Eddie, just before we get into that, uh, we saw you outside. Uh, you knew, knew we were all coming to you straight away. Uh, Fury against Usyk postponed. What was your reaction when did you wake up to the news? Yeah, you I said? Heard, obviously a few hours before it broke, and you know, we had um, Jai Pataya and Joe Caldina on the undercard. So firstly, I was gutted for them. Secondly, I was gutted for you know Tyson and Usyk and His Excellency and Gold Star and Queen. Like it's a, it's a Massive fight, um, and uh, it's a massive fight. So you know, it was great for boxing, and hopefully, it can get rescheduled as soon as possible. So, as far as you're concerned, is it going to be Fury? Uh, sorry, Usyk against Hergovic. There's some of the reports. I'm, uh, again, not my main event, but I would say no. You know, if I'm involved in that situation, I'm looking at when Tyson Fury can be ready, which I understand would probably be end of April, early May, and I would get the new date locked in ASAP. You know. Um, as the Bull Army is uh, in, in, in voice. Yeah, I, I don't see a, an interim fight happening, depending on when he's ready. If Fury turned around and said, I'm not ready till July, June, July, then maybe, but you know, not, not one for me. A lot of like, naysayers online saying, you know, this might not be true and, you know, he just doesn't want to fight. Uh, what's your thoughts? It's absolutely so ridiculous. I mean, you, you would have to say that Tyson Fury and his team have asked the doctor to cut his eye open to get out of a fight. It's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. You know, you see the injury. It's a freak injury. He wears an open head guard. It can happen. Unfortunately, it's happened two weeks before one of the biggest fights in boxing. Uh, just on, you know, uh, you know, Fury, uh how does this affect your plans and you know with Joshua does it is what it is you've got to focus on your own plans which is just beat Francis Ngannou it's four weeks uh, today until the Francis Ngannou fight it's got to be switched on and the, the aim remains the same win that fight and, and fight for the World Heavyweight Championship or the Undisputed Championship did Turkey get in contact with you this morning yeah, no, no. Uh, just on this fight uh, I believe Dobson's a plus 600 to win uh, how does he defy the odds to beat Conor Ben tomorrow I think he has got a show a lot of heart. He's got to uh, he's got to make sure that he can stay in the fight and withstand the early pressure from Conor Ben. Uh, Conor Ben is going for a first round knockout on Saturday, 100%. Some people say it, he means it. So Dobson's got to try and survive early doors. Have you ever heard an American way in like this? No, that's because the Brits, uh, the Essex boys, are in town. Uh, uh, just a couple of updates, Katie Taylor, saw her uh, on a picture, uh, any update with the Cameron Trilogy? Yeah, we was with her yesterday and today uh, down the UFC centre, she's looking to fight in May. Obviously we'd love a, a Chantel Cameron Trilogy, other options as well, we'll see how we get on. Wood Warrington, any news on that? Oh yeah, no. Gillian White? Uh, haven't spoke to him since really the incident. Final one, uh, if people are on the fence tomorrow night, do I watch Buat Suzy's, do I watch Ben Dobson? Give us the sales pitch. Why should they watch? You've got two good fighters. You know, you got the most exciting pound for pound fighter in British boxing, and you've got a really good British title fight in Dan Aziz against uh, Boatsu. Hopefully, that goes a little bit earlier. We'll be 10:30 ring walks. Don't miss it live from Las Vegas. Eddie Hearn, thank you very much. Yes.